Hold because on. I agree in part with you. It's kind of a ridiculous thing to say that there's so many politicians in Washington that just want to mess things up so that uh, they can recapture the White House. On the other hand, don't you think there is some that actually do want to do that, that do want there to be this uh, a absolutely no, nothing's happening in D.C., how can we reelect this guy? There's got to be some Republicans that do feel that way. I, I, would, I would say that you could be right if, Aha. if we didn't have the Ryan proposal, you didn't have the Mac Penny plan, which basically suggested during the, the debt ceiling debate that government freeze spending at 08 levels and cut one percent of spending every year if you didn't have so many proposals coming from Republicans in Congress that actually give the president cover because they've given him something to act against and today a poll just came out that showed the president's job approval going actually up to 49 percent the president's job approval goes up when Republicans take the lead on issues because there's something for the American people to be against that's not well, at that, the hands yeah, of the president. I, I, so you're, you're making that correlation. That's not necessary. No, well, I, 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 think it's, I think it's a very fair correlation. You think to make Republicans you've seen are to, uh, consistently. <laughs> to thank for, for any time that the president's well, no, approval rating I, I, moves I, I, at I all, whether it goes up or for, down? for uh, uh, President Obama <laughs> right now is what's going on in the Republican Party. Is no, er, everybody's fighting. You, I mean, you guys are taking each other out. <laughs> The Democrats don't have to say anything. The Republicans are doing it amongst themselves. But that wouldn't, impact, that, you, that wouldn't impact the president's job approval. That would uh, impact his re-election number. W it what, what impacts his job approval is the fact that Republicans go out ahead. And, and Eric, I have to say, you would be right if it were not for Paul Ryan starting the year off dominating the dialogue with his blueprint, with his roadmap, which made very controversial proposals. Cutting entitlement spending, obviously reducing spending as drastically as it did, up to $6.2 trillion from the federal uh, government. So the president benefits because Republicans are not just sitting on their hands. Right. They are putting forward their own ideas, their own proposals, and now he has something to run against because his proposals, frankly, are piecemeal. This payroll tax cut, which will have marginal effect, if any, on the economy. And the Republicans in the House are willing to give him exactly what he asked for, a full year extension. It's the Senate that's decided we better take our break and figure it out in two months. I think that's wrong. Well, you know, I, I, I think that, one, the American public will speak shortly. And, you know, I, I believe we're going to get, I think we're going to get a little bit of misread out of Iowa. I don't think Iowa was going to. I agree with you on that. You do? Yeah, I do agree with I you on that. I think everybody puts so much emphasis on, you know, Iowa and I don't think it's going to be telling of what, where the Republicans are going to end up. I think the sooner that the Republicans get their candidate, the better. And then we'll see, you know, how the country feels in general. I think then we get a pure read as opposed to the read we're getting now. What do you think right now of, of the read that we're getting? I'm referring to the polls, of course, with Mitt Romney and, and Newt Gingrich. Are Republicans getting their man or are, are, are they settling I, for their I man? Still, I, they're, I, they're neck at neck at 30 percent in the polls. Newt's. <laughs> Newt will be gone in another few weeks. That's my opinion. You my, really my think opinion so? has been for I don't know how long on the show that uh, that Romney was the guy. And we went through this cast of characters. Right. You know, and Herman Cain, get, nice I, guy, but cartoon character. Somewhere Donald Trump will be He's coming on the set. In. Be careful. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I like him a lot. He's a really nice guy. like him a lot, but I didn't think that... You know, I didn't think that he would be standing when it was all over. And the only good thing about Newt is he has political experience. He knows how to run a campaign. So that's one of the reasons that he's still there. But he's got so much what baggage. What surprised me by this poll, it's the GOP primary voters preference poll. Ron, per Ron Paul is actually ahead of Rick Perry and Michelle Bachman. How is that possible? Well, I hope that's... I mean, I, I, hope, I know how I it's that's pa possible technically, but I mean, he's... He's he's actually ahead of Rick Perry. He he dominates a very uh, organized and and profound wing of the Republican Party, which is the civil libertarian wing. He speaks very frankly. He's talked about he's dramatic. He's got a lot of young people that are, cuts. are huge supporters. Listen, of his, almost know, cult like. I, it is. It's a very good assessment. I I heard it said on the radio last night, and it's a great example. You know, you have these people who want to legalize marijuana, the young folks right. who love Ron Paul for his social libertarian stances and actively get behind him, and you have a lot of you know older Republicans who do believe the party strayed from its you know orthodoxy of less government and smaller you know government and less spending. And Ron Paul's the one talking about dramatic cuts in spending. You know, these others are kind of still yeah, they, talking about you know the inside Washington small ball, only a, a, a trillion here and he's there. He's just another case in point of two things. One is. I don't believe Iowa is going to be indicative, period. 
And two is, how many different parties are within the Republican Party? Because he does have that very strong cult-like following within the party. And you have the keep. I mean, there, there's so many fractions, you know, in the Republican Party. It's tough to get a read of the real situation we, versus right. the White House now. We have the Big Ten. We have the Big Ten, the big Eric. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to switch uh, gears just a bit, and then, of course, we're going to revisit more uh, politics going on in Washington. But first, we want to talk about, uh, you know, the holidays. When you go to buy anything, do you actually look at the label, where it's made? Do you guys do that at all? Do you... Do you even shop? Only for big ticket stuff. Okay. I so try to buy American cars, but you know, when I'm buying a toy, I'm not so... Well, if you buy local, even more so, not just American, but buy local, you can actually...